let's continue adding more tests so the next test we want to do is to see if our tooltip is not rendered initially so i'll go ahead and copy this test here and let's modify the label and we want to test that it does not render the tooltip initially and one way we can do that is using get by text and we will actually find the text node instead of the children node but this method has a caveat that we won't be actually able to find the text node here for example if i just try to log in get by text the text node and hit save it threw an error because right now we are not rendering the text node here and because react testing library is not able to find the text node it threw an error so what we have to do here is actually make use of another good method that is exposed called get by test id and use it to kind of uh, find our dom element and then make assertions based on that also one more thing you would have noticed here is that in the dom there are a couple of different divs here so that's happening because actually we forgot to clean up our tests so for that react testing library provides a cleanup method that actually cleans up the dom after we're done making each test so we'll include that as well clean up and you can use this using after each which let's just runs this method after each test so give that a save and now our dom should be cleaner great so now next thing we'll need is introduce some data test id into our component so i'll go ahead into my source code for the component and in the dom node i'll add another uh, another attribute called data test id so this is here only for testing purposes so we'll just go back into a test and make assertions based on this so the first assertion we can make here is uh, the first thing we'll need here is actually get by test id method so i'll go ahead and find it from render method and we actually expect that when we get this uh, dom test uh, dom i uh, dom from the test id uh, let's actually create a variable here let's call it const id is equal to wgjs tooltip uh, which we just created here so it's the same id and let's try to get it by the test id and we expect that it's inner html should be an empty string because it's not getting rendered right now so let's hit save and yeah so our test is passing now so get by test, uh, test id is a good escape hatch but uh, you should use it with caution like as it's mentioned in the docs here that we can use it as a last resort and for some cases like we are testing right now for an element which is not present in the dom it's one of the best ways to do it but for some other ways uh, for some other tests you might want to use some other methods like get by text get by placeholder text so all these are re uh, really good methods to use so the next test we can have here is actually test that if a tooltip renders on hover and when we leave the mouse it actually goes away so I'll just make a copy of this test to get started and I'll change the label that it uh, renders tooltip on mouse enter and hides on mouse leave. So we have the same app here and we'll also need get by text along with get by test ID. So I'll go ahead and implement this test. So first thing we'll need here uh, in order to test mouse enter is a helpful method called fire event, uh, which is right here. So fire event will actually fire a DOM event on the tree that we just created. And this will let a React uh, catch that event and do, what's uh, like do what it has to do. And I'll go ahead and import this as well. And what this method requires is a couple of parameters so the first parameter has to be a dom node and the second one has to be a has to be an event 
So for in, for the event, we need mouse events, and for the node, we'll actually provide this node. So I'll fire an event, and I'll find the node by its text. So we need to find the children, and we need to uh, fire a mouse event with mouse enter and we also need one uh, important thing which is bubbles true so thing to note here is that this is actually needed by react because actually uh, react has a top level of event management so if you don't bubble an event react won't be able to actually find it here so let's give that a save our event was fired now that uh, when this test runs we actually fire the event to which simulates mouse enter and now we can expect to find our tooltip in the DOM tree so let's say expect and get by text of our tooltip text content and we expect dot inner html it should be equal to the text content itself so let's say hit save and looks like we have an error here cool so the difference here is happening because it's actually comparing the inner html by including the span that we added to display that little triangle on the bottom of our tooltip so we can solve this by just uh, uh, making our assertion on text content so if I hit that save yeah so now it should work fine so now it's able to find it in the DOM tree and next thing we can simulate here is a mouse leave event so I'll just copy this down and next uh, I'll just implement a mouse leave event here and now uh, we don't expect uh, the text content to be present in the tree so we can actually use the same test that we had earlier I'll just copy it down here and we expect that the test ID uh, get by test ID method it's inner HTML should be equal to an empty string give that a save and our tests are passing now so we just tested the functionality of our tooltip for mouse events and we can test it similarly for focus and blur events so I'll just copy it down here and Let's change it to be a bit more meaningful. So it's renders tooltip on focus and hides and blur. So in this test, we need the event class here. So I'll just say new event. And first one should have a focus. The next one should have a blur event. And it should work in a similar way. Great. So now all our tests are passing. We just tested if a tooltip works with focus, blur, mouse enter, mouse leave, and a couple of more good use cases. So that wraps up for this video series. If you like the content, uh, please subscribe. I will be trying to post some more amazing content your way. And if there are any doubts, please feel free to reach, to, reach out to us on Twitter or leave your comments here. So till next time, bye-bye, take care.